Twilight Sparkles that you were coming to Canterlot for a visit and asked if I might accommodate you. Thank you so much, Princess. You're very welcome. No, really. This is so nice of you. It's nothing, really. Oh, but it isn't nothing. It's everything. I, I just don't know what to say, but thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are very well. Thank you. Your luggage, mademoiselle? I'll leave you to get settled. Your Highness. Enjoy your stay. Thank you! Uh, where would you like me to put these? That's perfect. My little pony, my little pony. Tons of fun A beautiful heart Faithful and strong Sharing kindness It's an easy feat And magic makes it all complete You have mine Do you know you are my very best friends? Oh, Pooh, do you know what I love about Cantalot? Ah, everything! I have been born in Ponyville, but I am a Cantalot pony at heart. Now, I know that we are here to pick up some fabrics from the shop, but Twilight was such a dear to get me that sweet at the castle, I simply must make her something to express my gratitude. Hmm. Ooh, an outfit for her birthday party this weekend. Perfect! Don't you just love it, Hero Blessings? Please excuse our interruption. I'm Jet Set, and this is my wife, Upper Crust. We saw you from across the cafe and just had to find out. Where did you get that simply marvelous chapeau? Oh, this old thing? Oh, it's just something I... Hey, <laughs> It's me, AC Turnip Truck. We met at the big hole down at Ponyville last fall. Oh, yes, of course. How are you? Good! Real good! Hmm. You're from Ponyville? Well, yeah, yes, but... Uh, she I... sure is! She's a real big-time fancy pint dressmaker there! Probably made that real pretty thing she's got on her head! I thought it looked a little... country. I told you it wasn't something you could get here in Canterlot, dear. Huh. Oh. Well, they seem real nice. Look, the little country. Not something you can get here in Canterlot. I'll show you something worthy of Canterlot. I have to get started right away. This new design is very ambitious, and I've already written to Twilight to let her know she'll have something beyond fabulous to wear to her party. <gasps> Fancy pants. I say, that's one way to make an introduction. Oh, goodness. I am so sorry. I, I didn't see you there. I I've just got so many bags, and I was trying to get back to my suite at the castle, and... You're staying at the castle? Well, the, the princess invited me to stay in one of the suites. You know the princess? Hmm, a pony with expensive tastes, I see. Oh, it's for an ensemble I'm making for a friend. Her birthday's in a few days. Again, I am really sorry I bumped into you. I'm not. <laughs> you are obviously some pony worth bumping into. Listen, I have a VIP box reserved at the Wonder Bolts Derby this afternoon. Would you, would you be so kind as to join me and a few of my companions there? Hmm? Me? But of course, my dear. Well, I, I'm, uh, uh, no, sure. We'd love to see you there. Uh, uh, Rarity. Rarity. Pro, seeing the Derby from a VIP box is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Going to the derby cuts into the amount of time I have to finish Twilight's outfit. Pro! Fancy Pants is the most important pony in Cantalot. His stamp of approval could mean big things for me here. Con!
on. Twilight's party might not be as sophisticated as the Derby, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't put all of my energy into creating her birthday ensemble. My Ponyville friends will appreciate my hard work more than any pony. I hate to let them down. And I won't. Opal, I am going to the Wonderbolts Derby as a guest of Fancy Pants. Jolly good to see you. So glad you could make it. Everybody, this is Rarity. She's staying at Canterlot Castle. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Welcome to the Wonderful Derby. The competitors are taking their places at the starting line and are racing for the giddy momentarily. I'll be rooting for rapid fire, of course. He's sure to take home the grand prize. Mm -hmm. I don't think he has a chance against Fleetfoot. <gasps> I say, how did you know Fleetfoot would be victorious? My friend Rainbow Dash talks about her all the time. She says what Fleetfoot lacks in size, she makes up for in speed. And who is this Rainbow Dash? Uh... Why, she's... She's the, the Wonderbolts trainer, of course. Staying at Canterlot Castle, and she knows that Pegasus training the Wonderbolts. I told you all this was an important pony. Oh, oh, really? Three cheers for Rarity, my new favorite party guest. And then I said, please, that isn't a hat, darling. That's a natural disaster that somehow landed atop your head. Oh, 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 you are a delight, Rarity. An absolute delight. You simply must attend my art gallery opening this evening. Oh, oh I'd love to, but I... And let's not forget my charity auction tomorrow morning. Well, that sounds wonderful, but I... And of course there's a seat for you at my dinner party tomorrow night. I'm flattered. Really. It's just I have a project I really need to get started on, and... Uh... Oh, but really... I may as well close down the whole gallery of you can't attend. My auction is for charity, dear. For charity. And my dinner party would be a disaster if you don't come. Of course I'll be there. What is oh, the disaster averted? Looks like we'll be spending a few more days here, Opalescence. Turns out bumping into fancy pants like that was the best thing that's ever happened to me. Of course, finishing Twilight's dress in time for her birthday party is still my top priority. But I can't possibly disappoint the Canterlot elite by rejecting their invitations now, can I? I'll be the toast of the town, the girl on the go. I'm the type of pony every pony, every pony should know. I'll be the one to watch the girl. Not just another Jane doll I'm the type of pony every pony should know At home, at the opera, on a fancy yacht Becoming the talk, the talk of all of Canterlot I'm the creme de la creme, not just another Jane doll Bye. 
Oh, I hope I haven't forgotten anything. Me too. We'd better get going. I must get back to Ponyville with enough time to finish Twilight's ensemble. For me? Dearest Rarity, your presence is requested at the Cantalot Garden Party tomorrow afternoon. Yours, Jet Set, an upper crust. <gasps> the Cantalot Garden Party! Why, next to the Galloping Gala, that is the premier event in Cantalot! Ah! Oh, but if I go, I'll miss Twilight's birthday. But if I don't go, my new reputation in Cantalot as a very important pony might be ruined. I might never be invited to another high society event again. Friend's birthday, very important pony. It's just too important. Ooh. My dear Twilight, I am afraid I won't be able to make it to your birthday party tomorrow because... Because poor Opal is quite ill. And she is in no condition to make the long journey back to Ponyville. I do hope you understand. Your friend, Rarity. I suppose this means you don't need me to bring down your bags? No. But I will need some help unpacking them. <laughs> what do you think? Too much? You're right. Too little. <sighs> Party, here I come! Hooray! Oh. Right before she cracks, shoot me! She... Hi again! What are you. How did you. Why are you. Listen to her. She's so excited to see us, she can hardly talk. What I mean to say is, what are you all doing here? When I got your letter saying you were stuck in Canterlot, I asked Pinkie Pie if it wouldn't be too much trouble to move my birthday party here, so you wouldn't have to miss it. Balloons are super easy to pack. Wow. First you get me a suite at Canterlot Castle, and now this. I don't know what to say, Twilight. How about you start by saying what you're doing in that fancy getup? This, uh, well, I... I always put on something a little fancy when Opal's feeling under the weather. <laughs> Cheers it right up. <laughs> oh, poor Opal. Where is the sick darling? Oh, uh, she's... Hold on a minute. Huh? I am so sorry about this. Is that my dress? Yes. It's so simple. So practical. So me! It's the perfect dress for my birthday party. I love it! <sighs> you don't know how glad I am to hear you say that. When I told the princess that I was moving the party to Canterlot, she was kind enough to offer us the Canterlot Castle Ballroom. Isn't it Fancy Pants? Fancy Pants? Where? Ah, uh, you mean, uh, where did you find the time to put up all these decorations? <laughs> oh, I never leave home without my party cannon! I thought about having my birthday outside, but they're having another party on the castle grounds today. Oh, oh. at least make an appearance. I'm here! Darling, I'm so glad you made it. Rarity! So happy to see you here. I wouldn't have missed this for the world. I say, what is that scent you're wearing? It smells like... Is that... Cake frosting? 
Yes, I always dab a little frosting behind my ears before I go out. <laughs> After all, who doesn't like the smell of cake frosting? I know I do. Mm-hmm. <sighs> well, all this talk about cake has made me hungry. Think I'll go and see what's on the old dirt table, if you'll excuse me. I must say, uh, yes, you darling. do <laughs> look like... I would expect nothing there. <laughs> Garden? I, I, I. Rarity, I'm surprised at you. Twilight, let me explain. I, I hadn't realized you were such a savvy business pony. You must understand. I. All of those ponies look so posh. And with the Grand Galloping Gala coming up, I bet you could totally get some of them to buy your dresses. Very smart. Woo. Why? Yes, I, I didn't want you to think I was being rude, so that's exciting the reason I didn't tell you. The one and only reason. <laughs> oh, well, you didn't have to do that. You should totally go over there and mingle. Twilight, you really are the best friend a pony could ever ask for. I don't know why I ever thought you wouldn't understand. Understand what? Nothing. See you girls later. Hey, wait up! We're your friends. I'm sure they won't mind if we check out the party, too. Come on, you guys. Let's show them how to party Ponyville style. What that pony is wearing. It's just so plain. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, might I ask where you got your ensemble? Why, yes, yes, you may. A very, very close friend of mine from Ponyville made it for me. <laughs> Ponyville? You don't say. I do say. Her name is. Fancy Pants, come with me. I'd like to show you this uh, thing that's over there. Oh, in a moment, my dear, this lovely filly from Ponyville was just about to tell me who made her charming dress. That dress? Oh, come now, who cares? It's just a plain old... Oh, don't be so modest. This dress you made is beautiful. <laughs> we all think so. You know these ponies? <laughs> Yes. Yes, I do know them. They may not be as sophisticated as some of you Canterlot ponies, but they are my best friends. And they are, without a doubt, the most important ponies I know. Important ponies? These ruffians? Don't make me laugh. Oh. <laughs> I, for one, find them charmingly rustic. Oh. And I think the dress you made for your friend is lovely. <laughs> I dare say every mare in Cantalot will be wanting one. Oh, I'd like to place my order right now. 
I think you should get two, hmm? Uh, yes, now then. How about you introduce me to your friend? With pleasure. Dear Princess Celestia, I wanted to tell you about the important lesson I learned during my visit. Now that I would like to hear. I learned that no matter where you go in life, you should never forget that you are the product of your home and your friends. And that is something always to be proud of, no matter what. <laughs> A very valuable lesson to have learned. It certainly is. But uh, might I ask that we hurry things up a bit? Oh, no! Christmas time with Atomic Betty. I think it's time I gave her a little Christmas present. Well, so much for that silent night thing. The Atomic Day at 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 Pacific, only on the Hub.